everyone here i'm doing exercise 10.11th question chapter is mensuration of class 6 the question is a piece of string is 30 cm long what will be the length of each side if the string is used to form a square an equilateral triangle a regular hexagon so they have given that a string is there which is of length 30 cm using this string they have made three different shapes the first one is a square and second is a equilateral triangle and third one is regular hexagon so no piece of string is removed or added the string length will remain same now how to solve this now since they have given that string is of 30 cm and they have made a square out of it which means you can see that the measurement, the, this length, uh, the one which I'm marking with yellow, is of 30 cm. Yeah, they have not added any string or removed any string, so the measurement is 30 cm. But you can see that this is nothing but the perimeter, perimeter of square. So, perimeter of square will become 30 cm. Same thing goes for the equilateral triangle and regular hexagon. For equilateral triangle also, they have used the same string of 30 cm and they have made an equilateral triangle. So the perimeter of the equilateral triangle will also become 30 cm. And similarly for regular hexagon. So we have got the perimeter of each shape which is 30 cm. And then using that, we have to find out the side. So let's do this. So in the first one, it is a square. So from the question, we have understood that the 30 centimeter is nothing but the perimeter of each given shape. So from here, we can write down perimeter is equal to. So this is perimeter of square. So perimeter of square is equal to 30 centimeter. But we know perimeter is 4 into side. Yeah, the formula is 4 into side. So this is equal to 30 centimeter. Now we're going to transpose 4 to the other side. So side will equal to, now since 4 is in multiplication, when we transpose this to the other side, it comes in division. So 30 divided by 4. Now 30 it doesn't go in 4 tables. We're going to get the answer in decimal. You can cancel this number or you can divide this number. I'm going to cancel this number directly in 4 table. This is 4 ones are. And we know that 4 sevens are is 28. Now 4 sevens are 28 means 2 is a remainder. Yeah. Now I'm going to put decimal here, I'm going to put 0 here. The number will become 20 and 4 5 is 20. So I got 7.5. So therefore, side is equal to 7.5 and the unit is centimeter. So we got the side of the square which is 7.5 centimeter. We're going to do the same thing for the next question which is equal to triangle. No. This is second problem. So perimeter of equilateral triangle. So I'm going to just write down EQ. That's equilateral triangle. So perimeter of equilateral triangle is equal to 30 centimeter. But what is the perimeter formula? Now since an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal, the perimeter will become 3 into side. Normally when you're finding the perimeter of the triangle, we add all the sides, right? But here in case of equilateral, all sides are equal. Instead of doing side plus side plus side, we're going to do 3 into side. So 3 into side is equal to 30 centimeter. Now transpose 3 to the other side. So from here we can get side is equal to 30 divided by 3. So 3 ones are 3 tens are 30. So therefore we got side is equal to 10 centimeter. This is a side of the equilateral triangle. Now the next one. In the next one we have regular hexagon. Regular hexagon means hexagon is a polygon with six sides. Now since they have given a regular, this means all sides are of same length. So the perimeter will become six into side. If the hexagon is of not regular, it is not a regular hexagon, then we cannot say that all sides are equal. Then we have to just add all the sides. Now since they have given it's a regular hexagon, it will be six into side. So here is a third one. So perimeter of regular hexagon will be equal to 6 into side. Okay, first this is equal to 30 centimeter. 
now what formula is 6 into side so 6 into side is equal to 30 centimeter now transpose 6 to the other side it comes in division so side is equal to 30 divided by 6 this is 6 ones are and then 6 fives are 30 so therefore side is equal to 5 centimeter I hope this is clear how we got it in case you have any further question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching